Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from the Skill Builder channel. One of the questions we keep getting asked in the Ask Skill Builder and in the comments for our videos is about cavity walls and whether they should be ventilated and should they be allowed to breathe? Now, the idea of a cavity wall is that it stops water coming through the wall into the inside of the house. By having a cavity, it means that any wind-driven rain will go through the first skin and then just run down inside the cavity to the ground and soak away. So when you start putting cavity wall insulation there, obviously you cut down the air supply. And people say to me, look, I've got air bricks in my wall. Surely that's proof that the cavity needs ventilating. A lot of those air bricks are actually below floor level and they're there to ventilate the subfloor, the space underneath your timber floor. And then when you look in a room and you see an air brick in a room that goes to the outside, people think that that somehow goes into the cavity. Once again, you've got a liner that goes in straight through the cavity, taking the air all the way into the room without going into the cavity. At the top of the cavity, it should also be closed off. It should also be sealed. And very often this isn't done for one reason or another, bricklayers haven't turned the brick on the cavity and they've left it open to the loft. Now what happens there is that if you've got damp coming in through the wall and it's running down the cavity, that will evaporate and maybe a bit of air gets into the cavity and it blows it up into the loft. So you'll find that it's increasing the amount of condensation in the loft simply because it's drying out the cavities all the way around your house. So the answer is that yes, a cavity should be sealed. It doesn't need ventilating. In fact, if you close off all the air gaps around the cavity and you seal the top off, you've then got a trapped airspace in the cavity. And trapped air is an insulator. All insulation is based upon trapping air. So the less air movement you can get around that cavity, the better, and that includes going around sealing up with a mastic or a silicon, all the gaps around the windows. If you've got sash windows and they're sitting in the cavity, then just seal up around the edges, anywhere around the doors, any missing air bricks, any small holes, anything you can do to stop that air from whistling around the cavity will mean that you're getting insulation value from it, even if you don't have cavity wall insulation fitted. So if you want to know about cavity wall insulation and is it a good idea, check out our other videos on that subject. I'm Roger Pisby. Come back and see us soon. We'll have more mysteries of the house revealed. Skill Builder now has over a thousand videos. So if you want to find out more, hit that search button, enter your subject, and we're bound to have a video on it.